No, I'm not somebody famous. I'd like to be, but I'm not. I am an actor, radio host, a high-tech toy trainer, voiceover actor, and somebody who survived suicide. And I need to explain that I survived it by not doing it. I survived it by finding someone to talk to who helped me check into a psych ward for two weeks where I was able to get it together and discover that I had been suffering from severe, severe depression even though I could get up, get dressed, cook, go to work, showed no, none of the symptoms of severe depression. However, I was suicidal. I saw windows and considered jumping out of them. What stopped me was thinking about the person who would find me on the sidewalk, my family, my friends. And it finally got to a point where Fortunately, I had somebody to call and tell them how I was feeling and with their help, I got help. I checked myself into a psych ward for two weeks. I am now on mood stabilizers. I don't have those thoughts about harming myself. And if you are having thoughts about harming yourself in any way, shape, or form, if you're contemplating that, figuring out methods to harm yourself. Please talk to somebody, a family member, clergy, friend, somebody you, you trust. And if you can't find somebody in your immediate sphere to trust, to talk to about how you are feeling and that you want to harm yourself, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-237-8255 for not only will you be saving your life, but you'll be saving your family's life, your friends, and everyone who cares about you. You'll be saving their lives as well. Again, that number is 1-800-273-8255, and that's the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Call it.